Minnesota Twins are back home today to face the Houston Astros in Game 3 of the ALDS series. The two teams each have a win, and now the Twins get the home field advantage for the next two games as they continue their path in the MLB playoffs. And Darren Doogie Wolfson is live at Target Field with more on what to expect on today's game. Doogie. Good morning, Paul. So much can change in just a week. I was in this time slot with Leah last Tuesday. I was sweating. Now, a week later, I have my winter jacket on. But you know what? It'll still be a fun day today, this best of five series against the Houston Astros. Now, a best of three. If the Twins can hold serve at home today and tomorrow like they did last week against Toronto, the Twins will move on to the American League Championship Series. Joining us live, Twins President of Operations, Derek Falvey. He assembled this roster. Derek, Houston is a much better team on the road than they are at home. But with you guys here today, tomorrow, how good of a spot are you guys in? Well, we feel like we're in a great spot going with Sonny Gray today. He's been a, truly a, a two-headed monster with he and Pablo all year at the top of our rotation. We're excited about that. Uh, Houston, whether they've had good road, home record, doesn't matter. They're the World Series champs, and, uh, and we know we're going to have a tough battle on our hands. Expound on Sonny Gray. I mean, I think he'll finish, what, top five, maybe top three American League Cy Young voting. He's been a rock star all year. What makes him perfect for this spot today? You know, this guy, he, when Pablo is kind of that slow and steady, and, and his approach to the game and the way he pitches is just different. Pop, uh, Sonny's the bulldog. He, he's the opposite, right? He's got this approach where he's out there. doesn't matter what the temperature is. doesn't matter what the conditions are. He's the guy who's going to fight through this game. I, I, I'm ready. I'm confident he's ready. How electric will this ballpark be today? Hey, it was great last Tuesday and Wednesday, but those games were not sellouts. Today, tomorrow, sellouts. This place is going to be rocking today. Yeah, we can't wait. I'll tell you, last week, Rocco said this post game. the crowd absolutely helped us win this game. Twins fans came out. They were energetic. They were a part of the game, the, every pitch. We need that again because this team's, uh, you know, they're a great team. We know that. So we want to welcome them, so to speak, to Target Field with the way Twins fans did last week. I'll leave you with this. Royce Lewis, is there a chance he's back at third base? He's been the DH because of the hamstring. Is there a chance he's back at third base, whether it's today, tomorrow, or later in the week? Yeah, he's progressed really well. We saw him take ground balls down there in Houston. He moved around well. Uh, he's progressing to the point where I, I would expect that to happen here over the over the course of the series. Fantastic. Derek, thank you as always. Thanks for having Derek me. Derek Falvey, Twins President of Operations, Game 3 today here at Target Field. 3.08 for the first pitch. The aforementioned Sonny Gray on the mound for the Twins. Christian Javier going for Houston. He's been better of late. His last three starts pretty darn good. He was great in the postseason last year through six no-hit innings last year against the Phillies in the World Series. But his overall record this year, his overall body of work, pretty blah. It seems like the Twins have the pitching advantage today. As for tomorrow, Game 4, we don't know yet, Paul, what time the game will start. It all depends on how the Orioles-Rangers game shakes out tonight. We do know tomorrow will either be a 1 o'clock start or a 6 o'clock start. But 3 o'clock today, Twins and Astros, Game 3. Live at Target Field, Darren Wolfson, 5 Eyewitness Sports. Okay, Doogie, thank you. 3 o'clock today is the time, you know, as he said, the Twins having the home field advantage at Target Field today. Fans are coming in in droves to downtown. Bailey Hurley joins us live where Minnesotans are really getting ready to cheer on the team. Bailey. Yeah, Paul, that's right. We are so close to some really good playoff October baseball here at Target Field. Fans, they're going to be coming through the gates just after 1 o'clock this afternoon. And like everybody's talking about, these are sold out games. But there are still a few tickets left, not only on some of those resale sites, but the Twins have said that a few official standing room only tickets may be released before that first pitch. Okay, and if you are coming out here today, there are a lot of fun things in store for you before the game even starts. Every fan in attendance, they're getting one of those famous, we believe, 2023 Homer hankies as soon as you walk through the doors. And the ceremonial first pitch, Paul, that is going to be an exciting one for longtime Twins fans. As Twins Hall of Famer Johan Santana, he's going to throw out to another fellow Twins Hall of Famer and Minnesota legend Joe Maurer. This is also going to be a game with a pregame flyover with two F-16 Fighting Falcons based out of Duluth flying over the stadium before that first pitch. And fans who attend this weekend's watch parties at Target Field here, they said after Sunday night's game, they are more than optimistic for a Twins win at home. Listen. Split in Houston, win both games at home, on to the ALCS, baby. The energy, this will be, be rocking come, uh, come Tuesday. 
Okay, again, the gates, they open here at 1 o'clock this afternoon. First pitch, that happens just after 3 o'clock. For all your uh, information on transportation, how to get here, how to get home, we have all that for you on KSUP.com. Just click on that featured on 5 tab. Paul. Okay, what a fun day. Gosh, and it is just beautiful out there. Bailey Hurley, thank you so much. So we have continuing coverage of the Minnesota Twins as they keep their playoff hopes alive in the ALDS. Our sports team is going to be live from Target Field to break down today's game. Watch for updates here and on your 24-hour news feed over at KSTP.com.